Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. Dopamine is generally regarded as a last-line vasopressor due to its higher risk of arrhythmia compared to the other common vasopressor agents. Dopamine has three different effects that occur at different doses. It's like having three pressors in one. Dopamine's effects are traditionally split into three categories with specific dose ranges, but remember, in the critically ill patient, there is often considerable overlap between these three ranges. Less than 5 mics per kilo per minute, vasodilation in renal and mesenteric bed via dopaminergic receptors is the primary effect of dopamine. At 5 to 10 mics per kilo per minute, the primary effect changes to increase heart rate and contractility via beta-1 receptors. And at greater than 10 mics per kilo per minute, the primary effect of dopamine is arterial vasoconstriction via alpha-1 receptors. The one advantage dopamine does have, compared with the other vasopressors, is that it comes premixed and has a long shelf life. This means you will more than likely find it in a code cart. Like the saying goes, you go to the code with the vasopressors you have, not the vasopressors you wish you had. If it's the only vasopressor available in an emergency, you can start with dopamine and transition the patient to a first-line vasopressor once they are stable. For a chart explaining vasopressor choice and sepsis, go to my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com slash free. It's download number three on the list.